Welcome back to Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. In the last episode, we made our way here to a village in Gungaga. Uh, let's go over here to the piano, I guess, and do that first. Uh, and fail at it epically. Epic fail. I'm just gonna try to. I, I don't care if I like do good at it. Oh my god. Oh. Let's go over here. Is it different on every piano? Yeah, this is a Cinco de Chocobo, I think is what it said. This is going to be really bad. I'm not good at this mini game. I'm not good at really any mini games, to be perfectly honest. I play JRPGs because they don't require skill, but mini games do. Cinco D Chocobo. Here we go. This is how you don't play the piano, by the way. My god, how are you supposed to give up with this shit? Square Enix acts like I've played Guitar Hero my whole life. I don't even know what the hell's happening at the time in this. Okay. Well, I hit more great than I did anything else. Does that say anything? <laughs> God. Yeah, I'm done with that. I'll never get good at that, no matter how many how much time I practice that. Uh, I'm just not good at mini games. Uh, it's what happens when you play JRPGs your whole life and you don't really develop skill at others, you know, like types of games. Because I've I only played JRPGs and RPGs. I don't play other types of games, you know. If I was playing Guitar Hero, I'd I bet people who, pl who played Guitar Hero and then they played Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and then they did the piano thing, they'd be masters at it immediately. Anyway, we're just going to advance the storyline here. We gotta go talk to our party members, so I guess we'll start with Tifa. Sorry. 
See how they dry their mushrooms here? Bet they'd make for a mean stock. Doubt there's much it wouldn't improve. Soups, pilafs, maybe even a pot roast. What sort of thing would you go for? Gonna go with the pot roast. Ah, why does that not surprise me? I remember mom saying how Claudio's was the best she'd ever had. If you tell me what it was like, I could try and make it for you. By the way, uh, you can just save it before you talk to people or talk to your allies and just reload if you to get the better, you know, the one they'll like more, you know. But I'm not doing that shit. I don't care how they, f my party members feel about me. I'm Cloud. And we gotta find the rest of the party members here. Yeah, we already challenged that person. Wonder where they're at. They're all scattered throughout the village. Scorpion stuff here. Treasure hunter as well. Okay, we can buy materials here too. I wish it told you what they made instead of having to go to the inventory. Or the menu, I mean. Bus, bus sage here. Hey there, you treating your chocobos right? Thing three thousand for ninety nine of those. But I keep them in the bottom more sage. Don't last long, does it? I'm going to make two more of them, so... Yeah, but I'll buy max of these anyway. Take good care of your choco, buddy. I'm 
Okay, hills 150, or almost said 150,000. It's 1500. Okay, there we go. Okay. Good enough for now. And the other party members are hiding from me. There's Aerith over there. Where is she going? I better not hear no moaning when I go through the store. Friend of yours? Come in. Please. Mm -hmm. Your eyes. You're a soldier, aren't you? Um, was. You wouldn't happen to know our son, would you? Zach? <laughs> Are you all right? Fine. What did you say his name was? Zach. Zach Fair. Zach? Sorry. No. Our son just up and left one day, determined to chase his dreams. At first, he wrote us all the time, but... When I first saw you, I thought, maybe this is the girl he was always talking about. Sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable. I doubt I was the only woman in his life. Charming guy like Zack. <sighs> <laughs> Wherever he is, I hope he's enjoying himself at least. They do say no news is good news, right? They sure do. Say, if you do happen to see Zack, would you tell him that we miss him? And to please get in touch. Of course I will. We should probably be heading back, don't you think? What? Already? At least have something to eat before you go. Thanks, but we don't want to keep our friends waiting. <laughs> Another time, then. Yeah, like I said in previous episodes, I don't even know much about Zack. Uh, I need to... So I played Dirge of Cerberus back in the day. Um, with, you know, with Vincent's whole thing. Um, but I never played Crisis Core because I never had a PSP. I don't really like handhelds too much. So I never, uh, I got, I had a DS back in the day and a 3DS, but I never got a PSP. I was more into like Nintendo handhelds. All this talk of another war has me worried, but I know I'm not the only mother afraid for her son. 
Yeah, true. Alright. Okay. Nothing new there. So we got some dialogue with Aerith here. Wasn't very nice of me. You remember me telling you about Zack, right? At the playground? How he was my first love? Yeah. This is where he grew up, and now that I'm here, it's a lot. So when I saw someone who looked like him, I don't know, I had to say something. Didn't even occur to me to think how they would feel about it. Pretty selfish, huh? Waltzing in there, stirring up memories. I don't know. They didn't seem to mind. Sure they did, but thanks. So, the Zack guy, you still like him? <laughs> wow, you went there, huh? Maybe. He's never given me a reason not to. Any news? Nothing. No calls, no letters. Oh. Leaving you out in the cold like this? Forget about that loser. Hmm? He's a soldier, right? Then I hate to break it to you. But if he's been gone this long, the man is dead. <laughs> Cloud? <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna go lie down. Well, that clears that up. He definitely doesn't know who Zack is. Another time. Yeah, and he's not the only one that doesn't know who Cloud or Zack is. I don't know who he is either. Join the club of people who don't know Zack. Which I guarantee a lot of the people who played Final Fantasy 7, they never played Crisis Core. So I'm probably not the only one. But who knows. We already accepted that one. Oh, it's going in here. Probably we're buried in Red 13 R, I guess. Oh, Yuffie. song. Funny, too. You wrote it yourself? <laughs> Finally, someone recognizes my genius. Indeed, the amazing Yuffie is also a top-tier lyricist. Oh, I've got another song. Want to hear it? Sure. Here goes. 
I'll search high and low till I've gathered them all. I'll have orbs piled up about a billion feet tall. I'll have so much materia. I won't know what to do. But until I can make you mine, I'll just patiently wait and dream. All right, Yuffie, next time you sing solo, just make it so low that we can't hear you. All right. Ooh. Another weapon. Bird of Prey, a new weapon for Yuffie there. It's got four material slots too. Hell yeah, it's the most. Oh no, the four point is four as well. New ability doppelganger. Looks like a damn act, like a kind of like a chakram almost. Check out the weapon skills here: ice damage, lightning damage, MP recovery rate up. Critical hit rate and then critical damage up as well. Someone down over there. Oh, it's Barrett. Once things settle down, I could see myself moving out here, living off the land. Be a nice change of pace. <laughs> Just me, Marlene, and our little piece of paradise. <laughs> Wonder what kind of stuff we'd end up growing. Onions. Perfect fit for you. Oh? And what makes you say that? Because you cry a lot. You're a funny clown. Shin was doing its damnedest to bleed the planet dry, but she still got life in her, and we gotta help her keep what's left. Still have to find uh, Red 13 and um, Kate Sif. Oh yeah, I think I already tried to open that one. I have no clue where Red 13 or Kate so far.
Man, they're like nowhere to be found. Are they just not here? Oh, here's Red 13, okay. Telling species apart can be difficult. What looks like a Gungaga mushroom may in fact be poisonous. For me and my nose, the difference is obvious. But for someone like you, well, let's find out. Which of these do you think they are? Right ones. Correct. I suppose this scent does make it rather obvious. It wasn't the correct one, though, because if it was the correct one, uh, I would have got better favor with him. All right, now we gotta find Kate Sif, wherever the hell he's at. There ain't no telling. Here's Snaps. We can talk to Snaps, I guess. Hey there. Good to see you again. Since you're here, mind if I snap a pic of a fun guy with some fun guy? Feels like time passes slower here, especially compared to the city. Everyone seems so at peace. I'd love to get a shot that captures the atmosphere. If you come across a spot that might look good in photos, I'd love to hear about it. Well, that's a long way away, bro. We're not going to be going there anytime soon. I really want to find Kate Sif, but I have no clue where he's at.
Yeah, I don't know. I don't see him anywhere. I think I've been pretty much everywhere. I guess I'll give up on it then. Maybe you can't find him. Go advance the storyline then. Okay, so we have new materia here in Gungaga, so petrified materia. Which is weird because it has like quake and shit. What does everything do with petrify? And magic focus. Increases potency and duration of blink materia spells. You get quake pretty late in this game. You get quake pretty early in Final Fantasy VII, the original game. You get it in Calm, I remember. One of the spells you can buy in Calm. Or give her quake or should I say petrify what well, does have resistances to petrify and stone Preparation and confusion. Cloud. Why does it say cloud level thirty-five? I don't know. That's weird. Oh, okay, until it's time to leave is what I got hit, okay. Alright, should have hit the fan, apparently. Um, but it'll have to wait till the next episode, so thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.